kay mga kanayan di sa Aurel Isip and welcome to Isip na yan. Our topic for today is all about arithmetic mean. When you say arithmetic mean, no, this is a term of arithmetic sequence that is between the two given terms. For example, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Ang arithmetic mean dyan ay yung mga nasa gitna between 2 and 10. So, ang arithmetic dyan is the 4, 6, and 8. Another example, no? 7, 13, and 19. No? Arithmetic sequence to. Ang arithmetic mean dito is the number 13. Yun yung pagitan, nasa pagitan ng dalawa between ng sequence na to. Nang between siya ng 7 and 19. So, arithmetic mean, no? Between two numbers, A and B can be defined as A plus B over 2. So, let's have an example. Example number 1, no? What is the arithmetic mean between 60 and 80? So, ang ating parang formula dyan is A plus B over 2. We're in our A is 60 and B is 80. So, 60 plus 80 over 2. So, equivalent yan ng 60 plus 80 is 140 over 2. So, yan ay 70. So, ang sequence is 60, 70, and 80. Where in the 70 is our arithmetic mean. So, to example number 2, no? So, insert 4 arithmetic means between 7 and 47. So, sabi daw dito, no? Sa 7, mag-insert pa tayo ng 4 arithmetic means and sa 47. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? So, i-represent natin yung 7 as our first term. <clears throat> a sub 1. A sub 2. A sub 3. A sub 4. A sub 5. And A sub 6. So, meron tayong kailangan gamitin na rito yung ating finding the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, which is the A sub n equals A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. Kung meron na ako dito ng separated video, kung ginagamit ang formula na ito, yung finding the end term, no, may kita nyo rito sa taas. No, pindutin nyo lang yan at mapupunta kayo dun sa video na, ng gagamitin ng formula na ito. So, gagamitin natin yan. Ngayon, may kita natin, no, yung given natin, A sub 1 natin is 7, ang A sub 6 natin is 47, and the end. How many terms do we have here? ay 6. So, ipipasok lang natin yan doon sa ating formula which is A sub n which is ito yung ating last term. So, 47 equals A sub 1 7 plus the n minus 1 ilan yung n? Number ay 6 minus 1 times the d. So, yung d ang ating hahanapin ngayon. No? So, pag nahanap lang natin yung D, mag a lang tayo para mabuo natin yung ating mga terms. So, yung D na yun, i-add natin sa first term, sa second term, third term para mabuo natin itong terms na to, mga terms dito. Okay, no? So, 47 equals 7 plus 6 minus 1 is 5 multiplied by D, 5D. No? Then, magma-minus tayo dito ng 7. No? Then, minus dito tayo ng 7. Mga titira dito is 40 equals 5D. No? Pwede tayo dito mag-divide. No? O di kaya multiply natin multiplicative inverse ng 5 which is 1 over 5. O di kaya divide both side na lang by 5. No? And then makukuha natin na ang D is equivalent to 8. So itong 8 na ito ang gagamitin natin para makuha yung ating second term. So 7 plus 8 is 15 then 8 plus ah, 15 plus 8 is 23 then 31 39 so ito yung ating sequence na napinasok natin yung 4 arithmetic means in this example no if the third term of arithmetic sequence is 1 and the ninth term is negative 17 Write the first nine terms of this sequence, no? Ang binigay ang given third term, which is 
1 and the ninth term is negative 17. So, paano natin ito sasagotan? Tara. So, ibig sabihin, so, ibig sabihin, no? So, 9, 9 talaga yung terms na to. So, third term is 1. So, is our first term. Second term, no? Ang third term natin is 1. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, pang eight at pang nine term, no? So, ang pang nine term natin is negative 17. Yung gagawin natin ito, ito yung una natin yung nagagawin. Lalagay yung gagawin natin itong first term, no? So, yung para makuha natin yung common difference sa kanya, pag nakuha natin yung common difference sa kanya, saka tayo magdadagdag dito, no? So, eh, first term natin to second term, third, fourth, fifth, six and seven term. So, meron tayong seven term. So, gagamitin natin yung ating arithmetic sequence na, na formula, no? So, A sub N plus A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. So, ang A sub 7 natin, which is the last term, is negative 17, no? Equals the A sub 1, which is 1, plus the N minus 1, ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 minus 1 times the common difference na D. So, ayus, ayusin lang natin yan, no? So, negative 17 equals 1 plus 6D. So, magma-minus tayo dito ng 1, no? Minus din tayo dito ng 1. So, ang mangyayari dito is negative 18 equals 6D, no? We will divide both side by 6. 6, then D is negative 3. So, gagamitin natin itong negative 3 na to, no? Para malaman natin ang susunod na term. So, magpa-plus tayo, no? Pina-plus natin yan. So, 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. Then, pag pinag-plus natin yan, no? Tama, no? Okay, pag pinag-plus natin yan, negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Then, negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8. Then, negative 11. Then, negative 14. Kapag pinag-plus, tama, no? Which is negative 17. So, paano naman natin to makukuha yung mga number dito? No? Sa unahan. So, paano makuha natin mga number dyan? Dahil nag-plus tayo rito, no? Pagpabalik naman, isusubtract natin. So, 1. Itong 1. 1. Minus the subtract ng D. 3. Equals, so ano mangyayari dito? Magiging plus, no? Kasi negative plus negative, magiging plus. So ito ay magiging 1 plus 3, which is 4. 4 ang sagot dyan. So ito ay 4. So ganun din, no? Yung 4, no? Uh, minus negative 3. So yan ay 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3, yan ay 7. So, ito ay 7. No? So, that's all. No? Sana may natutunan kayo. No? So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then, paki, uh, pindot po yung ating notification bell no? para naman lagi kang updated sa mga susunod lupang videos. No? So, that's all. No? Good luck, soldier!